let's kick things off with the NFL scouting combine, guys. Three of the NFL's top prospects will not be participating in the on-field drills in Indy this week as Caleb Williams, Jaden Daniels, and Marvin Harrison Jr. all declined to work out. Now, Williams and Daniels will throw for teams, but as their pro day approaches only in March. Now, Harrison Jr. won't work out at all, won't talk to anybody, and it also has came out that um, Caleb Williams will not do any medical. First time ever in combine history. Mm-hmm. Harrison and Williams would also uh, not hire an agent throughout the draft process. Jeff, is this a big deal, little deal, or no deal? It's a huge deal. I love it. This is the Lamar, Lamar Jackson effect. You, you're seeing what you have with players, you know, keeping it in-house. And this is be, let's be real. Caleb Williams got enough film. Maserati Marv. We don't need any more film. We know what that is. We know what that is. Like, he's going to be the first wide receiver off the board, one of the top three to five picks off the board, no matter what. So, it's a big deal to me. It's showing players are stepping into their favor. Go ahead. Yeah. Yeah, and I think it was Marvin Harrison that said it, uh, where he was uh, training for football versus training to train. Yeah. Um, we already know, you know, four is his lowest landing spot with the Cardinals. Like, that's that's already kind of a given. Yes, sir. So, he, you know, focused on football and, and, and keeping doing the drills like that versus having to, you know, blow a hammy yeah. by trying to do the 40-yard dash. Yeah. <laughs> um, this is game-changing, especially not going to do the medical. Like, that's – and, again, I don't want to see people running in underwear either. So – it's kind of an old age thing. Kind of looks a little weird watching all of that stuff. But but what Marvin Harrison Jr. is doing is like, I'm number one. Yeah. Malik Neighbors is faster than me. Yeah. If I go out there and run a slower 40 than him, it could be a possibility that he goes before me. Some people say Malik Neighbors is actually better than Maserati Marv. So in turn, man, it's one of those things. This is the last chance to kind of get in front of people and show that you are the guy to raise your stock. Mm-hmm. I think neither of these guys, all three of them, don't have any chance as far as participating, gaining more steam mm-hmm. to be a top three guy because mm-hmm. they're already top three guys. Hell, I think Jaden Daniels will be the second quarterback taken and go to the Washington Commanders. So yeah. it's going to be tough, man. It's, as far as the future, though, I think more and more of the guys, the top tier guys, will set things out. And if they see how well that – this goes for Marvin Harrison, Caleb Williams, not even doing medical. It's going to be a thing that the NFL is going to probably have to mandate some of this stuff to kind of make sure that this happens because it is power to the players. They're trying to be as empowered as the NBA is, and this is the start having people pre- like represent yourself with a rookie contract. It's baseline. You don't need anybody to you do that. Need. Oh, now you may be endorsements. Things of that nature, yeah. But as far as like getting this rookie contract as a sliding scale, if you're slotted at the fourth pick, you're gonna get the exact same price. So, uh, power to the people though. This is a game changer, and I think very similar to like how people set out bowl games, it'll be the same thing with this. Yeah, well, also, I mean, the combine's kind of an- antiquated at this point. Like, yep. why why do we have this anymore? I mean, even why did it? What what you know? Why did it happen in the first place? Yep. I believe Chris Long said on his podcast where it was you know back in the old days of the NFL all the NFL owners decided like, hey, we're going to get everybody together to make it more co- uh, cost effective to get everybody in, yeah. do the medicals, you know, look at everybody. Now, everyone's on television. Yeah. Or everything's televised. Everything's yeah. on social media. Everything is, you know, available right then and there. Yeah. So you don't really need a combine. I agree. And I loved what Jaden said about um, having his pro day mm-hmm. be attended by everybody because he's not going to be throwing at the combine like you mentioned. Yep. You know, he's going to draw the, all those scouts in. Mm-hmm. What's going to happen then? Maybe somebody on the pro, or in the pro day, he gets yeah. a look yeah. Yeah. that he yeah. wouldn't have gotten because he didn't get invited to the combine or, you know, whatever the, the case may be. Yeah. You know, re- in, in reality, they're bringing more of awareness to, to their teammates. Mm-hmm. Very true. And also, also, just think about this, dude. They're practicing for since January to run, like, track people. Yeah. You don't run the same exact way when there's a football field yeah. and you're lined up in front of a cornerback or you're running behind an offensive line. You're just doing this just to make sure that you get to a 4-2 or a 4-3 yeah. when in actuality it doesn't really matter. You only are training for this. It's like studying for the SAT or the ACT. It's a standardized test. Some people go in and do really well because they study for said test, but at the same time, it's like, okay, after this, you'll never study for the SAT again. It's a one-hit thing. It's yeah. stupid. It should be, like Shane mentioned, should be done with anyway. But, yeah, man, it's out with the old, in with the new. Yeah. 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 
Never. This I, I forget who said it. it was like I never ran a forty again. I'm always gonna be a four four speed. I've never had to run a forty again. But you're practicing to getting out of those <laughs> box, dude. No, you're not running the Olympics. Full sport press, you know them boys. Shane run the point lock for three, and me I crashed the boys. 